I'm Craig. I'm Ryland. Welcome back to another review show. It's actually a really special review show because it is a review show special. And this week we are looking at Mark Mason and JB Magic. Now, every year Mark Mason brings out four or five new routines. He launches them at the Blackpool Magic Convention and then he tucks himself away in a foreign country and invents a whole bunch more tricks ready for Blackpool the following year. <coughs> so Blackpool is always a very exciting time of the year. And on this week's review show special, we're looking at four of the brand new launch items that came out at the Blackpool Magic Convention from Mark Mason and JB Magic. He brought out five or six new routines at Blackpool. We're going to be looking at four of them. Now, Mark Mason is one of the best magicians in the world, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best performers, and definitely one of the most creative people you will meet. But he was also a Deming machine. I don't think you'll find a better magic demonstrator than Mark Mason. You just walk over to his stand and you walk away having spent a fortune and you don't even know what you've spent it on. Mark Mason is brilliant. And these are the four tricks, or four of the five or six tricks that he bought out of Blackpool. We'll be looking at the other ones at some point down the line. But I hope you're excited. Everybody's been asking us to do this. So here it is, a Mark Mason JB Magic review show special. And we are going to start with a collaboration between Alan Rorison and Mark Mason. So first up, we have um, Loco Logo by Alan Rorison. And anytime Alan and Mark get together and put something out together, it's always gold. And this is amazing. You can see a video of it in a minute, but basically what we have here is at any point in your act, you can have someone pick a card. Let's say it's a two of spades, because it will be a two of spades. They hold onto it. You take your Sharpie marker, you show the logo on it, and you tap it against the, pe uh, against the card. And when they do, the Sharpie logo on the pen changes into the two of spades. And when they look at the card that they've been holding, they've got the Sharpie logo in place of where the two of spades pip was. It looks incredible. Now, you've got a video of this. You film this for Instagram. You film this for social media and Facebook. So we're going to have a look at this right now. This is Ryland performing uh, Loco Logo by Mark Mason and Alan Morrison, JB Magic. Let's have a look at this first. And then when we've had a look at it, we'll, uh, we'll talk about what we think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got all these cards here. As you can see, they're all uh, completely and totally different. All there, all different. 52 cards, 52 possibilities. Now I've got my dad behind the camera. Uh, dad, what I want you to do is I just want you to say stop. Stop. There? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's see what cards you got. You got the two of spades. Okay, interesting. Now what I want you to do is I want you to hold your hand out. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna give you that card. So I just pinch it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now uh so I've got the Sharpie. Now you know with the Sharpie, uh that you've got one on the, you got the logo on the top yeah. and the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Watch I'm gonna do something amazing with the logo of the Sharpie. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. You can actually see. What? But I just took the two of spades off there. And no now we've got one on the bottom. We've got two of spades at the top. But if there's a two of spades there, what's happened to the card? <gasps> what? What? So, right, tell me what you think of this. I think it's really good. Why do you like it? Um, I just because I just want to point out, mate, it's a card trick. You don't like card tricks. <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's not actually a card trick. It's a card trick that's not a card trick. It's a card trick that's not a card trick. How come? Um, just, uh, it's just I just really like the part where, uh, you have it and then it just like the it, the logo just like vanishes from the cards and it's like on the sharpie. Yeah, it does look yeah, really, really good. Really cool and you know card. what? Mark could have just given you one gaffed card and a gaffed sharpie and be done with it, but you've actually got a specially custom made gaffed card or two gaffed cards, which makes the whole trick self-working. You don't need to do a switch because the cards actually do everything for you, don't you? Yeah. So you don't have to do like a double lift or anything like that because the cards are designed to make that whole process self-working. And those car that card will stay in your deck and you can get access to it anytime you want to. You can go into it anytime. You know what I love about this? You know where I would use this? Yeah. You and I have talked about this, that at no point in a closer pack should there be dead time. There should be something happening at every single second. And I see a lot of magicians and they'll say, sign a card, and they'll just stay silent while they're signing the card. And so for that 30 seconds while the card's being signed, nothing's happening and people are losing attention. I love the idea, because you could hand someone the pen and they wouldn't realise there was anything special about it. So I love the idea of having somebody pick a card, giving them the pen, getting them to sign it. 
while they're signing it, say, by the way, can you pick a card for me? Get them to pick the two of spades. Get them to hold the two of spades. And you say, can I set the pen back? Watch this. Do you see the Sharpie logo? Boom. Now I've got the two of spades. Have a look. What have you got? And they've got the Sharpie logo. And you just put it away and you go, that's weird. Anyway, have you got your card signed? Can I go into there? And it's kind of just as part of the trick to fill that dead moment up. Because the thing is, this is really quick. This is just over in a second. It's like, boom, it's one phase transposition. But you know, you don't always have to have multi-phase long, boring card tricks. Ryland loves his long, boring card tricks. He loves long, boring card tricks. There's nothing that right. Ryland likes more than a 27 phase spelling trick where you're having to deal cards to the table. Honestly, you do bush, that trick. Bush, bush. <laughs> You do that for Ryland and he'll be just so happy. Next time you're at a magic convention, whish, whish. next no. time you're at a magic convention and you see Ryland sitting there with the Rubik's Cube and he looks like he's doing nothing, go over and show him he's a lying. version of the 21 card trick. No, he's lying. He'll love it. He'll he's love it, lying. honestly. He'll thank you for it because he loves that sort of he's stuff. Lying. But, you know, even though you like long, boring card tricks, there's, 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 a, there's a definitely a place in an act for something really quick and really visual like this. And I think this is the sort of thing that you can do as an opener to establish credibility. Because how many times have you have took out a deck of cards and you go, pick a card? Well, you wouldn't have had Never. that happen. Uh, <laughs> you pick out a pack of cards and you go, pick a card. And somebody goes, oh, I've seen that once. one. I just, uh, like, I was at a, like, a kid show and I decided to like bring a pack of cards with me for some random reason. I did it. And uh, this kid came up to me. I, I had this, like, uh, like, it was like a couple of years ago. It was like just after Blackpool. I bought this new card trick. And this, uh, I said, do you want to see a card trick? And this like little kid just came over and said, I've seen every card trick. He's like, no, you haven't. <laughs> no, you him. haven't. No, I showed it him. And he's like, yeah, well, I've seen that one. And then I did one that you told me. And he went, I've seen that one too. So I like, no, <coughs> you haven't. <laughs> So funny. Um, okay, right. I love this. I think this is really good. I'm giving this 100%. I love this. This is going straight into my act. You don't like card tricks, so you're not going to want this. Yeah, I am. So what are you giving it? Um, um, 100%. 100%. Is it because it's a card trick that's not a card trick? Yeah. Okay. So it's a card trick that's not a card trick. That's why it gets 100%. 100% from me. Plus think. Plus, like, oh, it's good. It gets 100% plus link. It only gets 100% from me, but that means it's absolutely naughty, naughty. incredible. But it's not as good as the next trick. As good as this is, I think that the next trick is the best trick that Mark brought out this year. Quartet. Oh, that's a good one. Let's have a look at Quartet. So next up, we have Quartet. And Quartet, do you want to tell everyone what Quartet looks like? Yeah, so basically, you have the two cards. Uh, uh, you have two cards. You fold them both up into quarters. Different coloured backs. Yeah, one red, one blue. And then uh, you take the blue one and you put it in your hand and you take the red one. And then you take the red one out and you can see, look, I've got the red card. You shake it and then it turns blue and you can show the red one in your hand. And look, I'll do it again. This time I'll use the blue one. You take the blue one out, you shake it and now it's red. And the blue one, uh, the blue one's in your hand. And then you take, and then you put them both in your hands. You grab the red one and like you have it and you go, and it is blue because it's like, it's gone through your hand and then, the red one's inside your hand, and then you ha hold both of them, and then you can see, look, this one's red, this one's blue, this one's blue, this one's red. And it's like really confusing. And uh, as a little test at the end, so like they can see this one's red, this one's blue. You put them down, but now this one's blue, and then this one's red. And it's like, by the way, they change colour again. Yeah, it's that. And oh, it's like, see if they know to say, and if they don't. It's like a multi phase transposition, mm -hmm. but like it's so clean. And at any point that you want to, you can open these folded up cards up and you can show them front and back. One of the cool things about this is they well, come at any in... point you want to. Pretty much. No, not almost not, any not, point. Not when you're like pulling no, the thing No, in out. between each yeah, phase though. In between, in between each, each phase. Because well, well, what's really cool is they come in a little packet trick wallet. One red, one blue. And you show the packet trick wallet and you take the cards out and you put them down. And you can show them front and back. And they're pre-folded and you fold them up and then you go into this. But in between each phase, you could open those cards up if you wanted to and show them. Now you're going to see a live performance of, well, live. you're going to see a performance of Ryland doing this for social media. He only does three of the phases, and the reason is it was on a reel, so it had to be shorter than a minute. One minute. So we had to keep it quite short, so we dropped one of the phases out. But it'll give you an idea of exactly what's going on here. So let's have a look at this. This is a, uh, a performance of Quartet.
So that's a performance and quartet. I mean, it's that strong. It looks, as good as it looked in that video, it looks like that in real life. It really does. Yeah. And, and the cool thing about it is it's very easy to do. Mm -hmm. the, the, I've never seen a gimmick like it before. It's not like it's a half and half flappy card where it goes and it flaps back or anything like that. You can see the cards front and back. There is nothing to see. Yeah. And it's like doing a copper silver transposition, but it's more visual because you're using playing cards that are folded up so you can see the colors. But at any point you want to, you can have those cards change places. And when you do, you can show them on all sides. And there's nothing, everything's self-contained inside that wallet. Yeah. So it's not like you have to add something in or you have to take something away or steal a gimmick or add a gimmick. Everything's self-contained. So you bring the wallet out, you open it up, you show the cards, you fold them up, you're into it. It can be as long or as short as you want it to be. I love this. I absolutely love this. Now, two things that I think that people need to be aware of, not negatives, but things to be aware of, one, the cards can't be examined um, at any point because you take them out at the beginning. If you gave them to somebody and they gave it a thorough looking at, they would find something suspicious. Uh, both cards. So you can't have them examined before. You can't have them examined during. You can't have them examined afterwards. But because it's so fair in terms of the displays, because your hands are empty, and because you're constantly showing both sides of the cards, I don't think that's yeah, an it issue. Doesn't, it doesn't need to be examined, does it? No, I don't think that's an issue at all. But it's worth knowing. Um, I, I think that, you know, you, you don't have an issue. Although if you did want to have them examined at the beginning and the end, you could use a Himba wallet. Instead of the little packet trick wallet it comes with, you could use a Himba wallet so you could take the cards out, have them examined, put the cards back in, say, look in my hands, is there anything in my hands? No, right, just the cards. And now you've switched them in, and at the end you can switch them out. Uh, I don't think that needs to be done. Uh, the other thing that, need, uh, that, that should be um, talked about is that the material that you need in order to do this trick potentially at some point might break yeah now we have been playing around with this a lot we've been playing around with it since blackpool mm -hmm. and you have been going yeah, because it's such a fun thing to play with we've both been going vum, 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 like over and over again and it's not showing any signs of even coming close to breaking we must have done it like three or four hundred times but it's worth noting that it might do at some point now, you do get the extra stuff that you need to fix it. And on the tutorial, Mark does actually explain exactly what needs to be done to fix it. So I think that's not an issue. What do you think? Yeah, same. I think that's not an issue either. Not an issue. It's, it's, it's just so cool. I like, it, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing fix. So cool. I love it. Would you do it? Yeah. It's a card trick. It's, 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 a, it's not a card trick. It's a card trick. It's a card trick. It's not a card trick. Is this how you get around this? It's a card trick that's not a card trick. It is a card trick that's not a card trick. I kind of think of it more as a transposition. Yeah, same. Think of it more as a transposition, but it's it's very easy to do. How difficult would you say it is? You learned it very quickly. Uh, I'd say it's easy. Yeah, because there's nothing, it's not like you're having to palm a shell off or anything like that. You literally, there's the. if you can do that, would you agree? If you can do that, you can do the trick. Yeah, literally that's it. If you can do that, you can do the trick. And it looks so good. And some if of you the... can basically just like grab a card and just like like just rub your fingers along it like that. Then you can do the trick. Then you can do the trick, yeah. Yeah, and you can make it as long or as short as you want to. And although Mark goes through many different ways of doing it, I think super creative people will come up with other ideas. Like the, the way that you did that final moment where you show it and they change, that's different to what Mark suggested. Because Mark had a different way to get into it. And I love the fact that you had it here. Boom, did the change and then did it back again as you put them down. I love this. I'm giving this 100% as well. What about you? Uh, 100%. 100%. This is plus my favourite. 100% plus Zelda. That's a good one. This is my favourite of the four tricks we're reviewing. So it's not, not yours, is not it? No. Favorite. But it's my favourite. So 100%. My favourite is going to get a plus Julian. Oh, trust plus Julian. Oh, oh. Very good right there. Julian's good. Julian is very good. Favourite character on Breath of uh, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Julian just helps so much, I swear. Oh, no, no, no. He, just, he just does everything for you. He lands the crit headshot on the Horror of Limbs. He helps you fly. He, he, like, you don't... Who cares about your Nubu? There's rockets. <laughs> <laughs> All your Nubu does is break rocks, but when you find the bomb glitch, why do you need your Nubu? <laughs> Nobody knows what you're talking about. Shut up. Anyway... Let's move Michael on. Does. Michael knows what we're Michael talking about. Let's, let's move on. 
Okay, so next up we are looking at On Second Thoughts by Gaz Lawrence and JB Magic. Now, uh, Gaz Lawrence, if you don't know who he is, last year he bought out the Shelby Wallet with Mark Mason uh, at the Blackpool Magic Convention. He bought out the Shelby Wallet, which was a very well-received peak wallet. Very, very nice peak wallet. Well, he's back this year with On Second Thoughts. So what is On Second Thoughts? That's the million-dollar question. What's On Second Thoughts? It is... A, imagine Jay Sankey's fine print, but on steroids, and that's what basically are steroids? steroids are. Mm. So what you that? know, <laughs> you know, if people get, you know, really muscly people. Yeah. Sometimes, if they want to get really big muscles and they want to uh, cheat, so they get muscles quicker and faster and bigger, they use steroids, but they're very dangerous. They're like a drug. They're like, a, yeah, a drug. And you can get addicted to them and it can cause really bad things to happen to you. So most people that go to the gym don't use them. In fact, I think they're banned now, most places. So there you go. Um, but imagine Jay Sankey's fine print on steroids and that's what you've got here. In essence, what you have is a fully gaff deck that allows you to perform a version of fine print, but it's it's way better. It, uh, I, I you, you know, comparing this to fine print, it, it, this is so much better. I, I, it's difficult to explain exactly what goes on here. It's easier if I show you a performance. So you perform this to your sister Thea mm -hmm. and freaked her out. Ryland's got a very different opinion to this trick than I have. So we're going to have a look at Ryland's performance. And then when you come back, We'll talk about we'll exactly. Talk about yeah, it. we'll talk about it. Let's have a look at the performance first of all. Okay, so I've got my sister here. Hi. I've got my dad behind the camera. Okay, so uh, I've got all these cards. And uh, uh, as you can see, they're all completely and totally different. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Now, Thea, what we need to do is we need to touch on one of these cards. That one. That one, are you sure? Yep. Okay. I want you to look at that card. You see the card? Yep. Yeah? Okay. Now, uh, what we'll do is we're going to cut the cards and we'll shuffle it into the middle of... The deck. Okay, now Thea, what colour was your card? Black. Black. Now, Dad, name of red card. Any red card? Any red card. Any red card. Uh, five of hearts. Five of hearts. Okay, we'll get back to that in a second. First of all, Thea, I'm going to try to find your card. Uh, let's go. Uh, there, okay. Now, um... What I want you to do is uh, uh, I want you to look at uh, that card. I'm going to put that there. Just hold that card. Just look now, at it. Uh, what card did you pick at the very beginning? The Ace of Spades. Okay, now look at that card. What is that card? That, ace, that was the Ace of Spades. You can see that's the Ace of Spades. Now, Thea, uh, you named a card. What was that card? I named the Five of Hearts. Thea, look at the fine print at the bottom of that card. You will name the Five of Hearts. hearts. You named the Five of Hearts, didn't you? You want to the five parts. So that was on second thoughts. That's the performance. You did a great performance there, right? Now, before you tell me what you think, I just want to say I love this and I'm definitely going to do it. So what do you think? I, um, I just think the new thing that's being used isn't really needed. The new thing that's being used. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, we don't really want to go into too much detail about what that is, but basically... There's a substance that's used in gaffed card magic, and uh, it's a substance that's been used for the years. With R and it sticks two cards together. Okay. We can't really say what it is. That's, a, that's as much as That's the substance that's been used for years, and if you've seen the Invisible Deck or the Brainwave Deck or something like that, then you'll have seen this substance being used. I use um, it. Mark Mason and Gaz Lawrence have put together this deck using a completely different substance. Which I think is which so is much a better. Bit stronger than what it's it's much stronger, and what it allows you to do is have the spectators shuffle the deck. But so I don't. I don't it, the only thing is, like, it's, it's, it, I feel like it's too strong, and I don't really think it's needed. The fact that they can shuffle the deck, because like, it, it looks mixed. Like it, when it is mixed, you can see all the cards. They're different. It's, I think you just. It is. Like, it is. What's the difference between shuffling the cards and just cutting them? I know where you're coming from, and I'm not going to disagree with you. All I will say is I love the fact that these cards can be shuffled. You can ask the because... spectators and just cut the cards over and over again. Yeah. It's the same as, it's the same as shuffling them. I don't really see why this new thing has been needed. Well, be I, like, I like the fact that you can say to the spectator, 
Here's a deck of cards. Can you give them a quick overhand shuffle for me? Great. Now pick one. They pick one. They're going to get an ace of spades. It's the easiest it's, force it's in the world. The same, the same. And then you go, great, shuffle it again. And they shuffle it's it again while you ask them. Just cut the cards. Okay. <coughs> now now uh, touch anyone you want. Do you really again, think, do you really cards, think, from a layman's point of view, having them shuffle the cards feels the same as having them cut the cards? That's not true. It's basically yeah, the same thing. It's basically the same thing. I think it's better to have the card shuffled. I think it's the same thing. I, I, it's, it's, I don't think I, I don't think the fact that it's being shuffled. It, it already looks shuffled. And the fact that you can give them cuts. I just don't can we agree it. that the effect is phenomenal? Yeah. They pick I a card. Yeah. They pick a card. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody yeah, else names a card. Yeah, and it's, it's really, a free yeah, choice of card. And it's, and it's yeah. printed on the Ace Listen, of... that's what I'm saying. It's really good. But you can do the same thing with the... Usual stuff. So you're saying that they should have used the usual stuff? Yeah, I don't really see the point of having the new stuff. And you don't, uh, well, I do, because I think that it's having the spectators. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Having the spectators. It's, it's, it's too strong. It's not too strong. It is. It's only too strong because you had a problem separating it at one point. What do you mean? You had a bit of an issue, didn't you, at one point, separating them? If, in well, all... I'm going to give it 75%. Move on. No, no, I'm giving it my review. I'm giving it a hundred percent. I think this is brilliant. I carry around a lot of gaff it decks. It is, it is really, really, exactly too many gaff decks. But um, it is. Hang really... on, whoa! <laughs> shut up! Shut up right now! Shut the shut up! There's you not too create. many, not too many gaff decks. I my rule of right, thumb name, when I get to name all the gaff decks you created. <laughs> Go on. What? Cheeky deck. Stebbins. Well, I didn't invent Stebbins, but yeah, as beyond in, like, the you Stebbins. Use them. You yeah, use yeah, 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 yeah. Name Stebbins. all the cards that you use in your stuff, or you've created. <sighs> okay, so I did the Beyond the Stebbins project. Mirage. I did the Mirage project, which is coming out soon. I got the Svengali project, which is coming out soon. I've got the the Stripper project, which is coming out soon. I got a Mem deck. I got uh, 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 oh oh mind blocks. Oh, the, the cheeky deck. Uh, the quantum deck. Um, the atomic. Talk about that one. Uh, evoke, evoke, We're like, 11 evo now. evoke, evoke, and then there's a ton of other ones that are like exactly. So that's already eleven, and you're saying there's a ton more. You can't say that's not a load of decks. But you've been to a close-up job with me, little Padawan, mm -hmm. and you know my deal. I go in, I take out a regular deck, and then I take out two gaff decks. So I have three decks with me: two gaff decks and a regular deck, and I change it up every gig. So I'm always doing different tricks. Well, I know a lot of magic. And this will go into it as well. This will and be. You're saying 11 plus like 50 million others isn't too many gaff decks. Oh, I don't have a problem, all right? Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not obsessed. How many Rubik's Cubes do you own, Ryland? It's not the same thing. I don't, it's have, exactly I don't have gaffed Rubik's I don't. I barely use any gaff Rubik's Cubes. Venom Cube. Cube and Bottle. I don't use the gaff. Fed of cube. That's something you just said. <laughs> cube through head. Uses a normal Rubik's cube. It's got a gaff. Yeah, yeah but it uses. <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah, two compared to like fifty million and eleven. What's your point? I like gaff decks of cards. Is that a problem? <laughs> That's my point, right. 79% for me. It's not 79%, right. This is an amazing deck. Yeah, it, it, it is amazing. It, the fact is really cool. I just think, just stick to the normal stuff. I disagree. I think that, you yeah, know. Yeah, because you're a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm not a nerd. Who would I give the... Right. right, you can either listen to the opinion of the man who's been involved in magic for 30 years and literally performed in every environment, or you can listen to the advice of an obnoxious 11-year-old. Who went on ADT and BTT and you didn't, ha, ha You didn't go on ADT or BTT, did you? No, Ryland, you didn't, I didn't. did you? No, 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 you didn't, did you? No, 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 no you didn't. No, I didn't. And I actually used all the tools I did my app. And who roughed it for you? <laughs> Some guy called Craig. Let's just get on with it. I'm giving this 100%. He's giving it 75. Nine. 79. 79% 79 from Ryland. I, I, and also it's a card trick. 
It is a card trick. He doesn't do card tricks. Unless it's a card trick that's not a card trick. Double standard. 79% <laughs> from Ireland, 100% from me. Let's move on. Okay, so the last trick that we've got on this week's review show is your favourite trick of this review show. Which Why is... did you say that? No, she told start me. again. Why? I'm only, I'm, they only find out but if I say plus two. Oh, okay. I mean, it's, the have la a... it's the last trick <laughs> and you haven't said plus tuning. So I think it's fairly obvious that this is going to be your favourite, Bronny. It's like the last trick. If there's no plus tuning on this one, there ain't a plus tuning period. So, as I was saying, this is called Incredible. <coughs> and what this is, this is basically a... Um, a good version of Neo. Do you remember Neo by Penguin Magic? It's one of the few tricks. I remember tricks. lots of tricks where X's go in the car yeah. and then they go in Penguin the did that one by Nicholas Lawrence, Neo, and we both hated it. Where, because it just, you could just tell what it was from about five miles away. And then there's, yeah, and there's like those elastic everywhere and little circles that you pull down. Yeah, it wasn't But not this that. one, it's so, it's so clean. It's so clean. It's perfect. Basically, in essence, it's you've got... It's perfect for doing this trick. You've got, uh, you're going to see a performance of it right now. Now, this was, this was a performance to Instagram, and Rylan put it together as a reel, which means it had to be sub one minute. So he didn't get the card signed. Normally, you'd get a card signed. Uh, but this is a performance. It's basically a matrix with X's on the back of a card. But it's really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. So that was a performance. Now, if you set it up, what the do way you that... feel like that? Like, you're like, that was a performance. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know where you're going. I don't know. Like, it's just a way. That, that was a performance. Boom, boom, boom. That was Billy the kid. Boom, boom. Can we finish, please? Ah, Billy the kid. <laughs> so that was a uh, that like I said, that was a performance by Ryland of Incredible. Now, um, something to bear in mind: if you set up the deck the way that Mark tells you to set up the deck. Uh, they can literally, you bring the deck out, you can literally have any card taken. They sign the card on the back, oh, sorry, on the face. Well, and then you take that. it and then you immediately draw the X's on there. You show that they're in the corner. You shake it. Boom, 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 boom. It does what Ryland showed. And then you immediately give them their card back. And they've got a signed card with four X's in the corner. So you can take a card, have them pick any card, have them sign the face, draw the four X's in the four corners, do the matrix, and immediately give it out for a, uh, for, uh, a souvenir to keep. Yeah. Why is this so much cleaner than any other version you've seen? It's just, it's just really good. Well, tell them not me. It's just really good. What? Mm. Like, without talking method, what... It, 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 <laughs> Like the others, you had to like learn where all like there were like others where it's like elastic everywhere, and there's only like certain elastics you're supposed to pull. I don't know which one you're supposed to pull, but this is just. Yeah, there's no elastic one, thread. Two, three, four. There's no elastic thread, is there? It's just literally. Well, that's and like, because the... basically you just have it, and then this is like if you can do this underneath the card. That's you can do the trick. Yeah. And <laughs> what's nice is because there's no elastic thread, there's no, like, we looked at, we talked about Neo earlier, you could just tell by looking at the card that the card was completely gaffed. Yeah. You can't tell that when you look no, at this. No, it just looks like X's. It just looks like X's on the back of a card. And then van vanishes and it appears in the corner. It's like, what? It's very, very good. If you want, I mean, this is perfect for walk around. If you're a walk around performer and you want to do it's something, it's perfect for you. Yeah, it's perfect. If you want to do something that really kind of allows you to give a souvenir out and it's a little bit different to a normal signed card trick, then this is what you want to go for. There's a lot of different ways of setting up the deck. There's a lot of different ways of actually doing it. You can do it so that there's literally just one gaffed card in play. You can do it so that the entire deck's gaffed. It's completely up to you. Mark goes through all the options, but it is super visual, super easy, and you'll be doing it within minutes. Perfect for social media. Uh, it is your favourite trick of the uh, of the review show. Mm -hmm. So what are you giving it? 
I'm gonna give it a hundred percent plus tuning and landing a crit headshot. Wow, whatever he said. I'm giving it. You don't uh, know what you know that tuning. Yeah, no, I'm he takes his bow and you go boom, and then the arrow hits him in the head, and then the enemy go wah. I'm giving it ninety percent. <laughs> He's giving a hundred percent plus tuning. Uh, it's landing a crit headshot. Landing quick headshot. No, crit headshot. Let's let's. Wrap, it means critical headshot. Let's wrap this up. That's another do so in the back. That's another do so in the back. That's another do so in the back. Where's your hands gone? I don't know. Bang! 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 It is another. I need to stop. I need to stop giving you. I need to stop giving you sugar before we do these review shows. I only have fifteen for the other day. <laughs> it is another review show in the bag, guys. You, thank you once again for joining us right here on Magic TV. We'll be back next Wednesday with another review show. Uh, you can follow Ryan and the Kid Magician on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You can follow me on Magic TV. You can go join the Netflix at www.thenetflix. We'll be back again next week. Thank you. We'll be back again next week. Thank you once. Thank you once again for joining us. I'm Craig. I'm Ireland. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye, everyone. Wave goodbye to everybody.